Hey guys, Matt from CrawlSpaceRepair.com. Wanted to take a second and show you why the quality of tape is is really important. And installing a sump pump in a hard line is important too. This is the electrical line or the extension cord going over to the sump pump, which apparently isn't doing its job, but that's a different issue. Uh, right now, what I want to talk to you about is is bridging the the workmanship as well as the quality of the of the tape that you're going to be using so bridging is is this where where the the tape actually bridges across the barrier and it leaves a spot underneath here where water can escape like this and you end up with puddles like this everywhere when you do a poor job or use do a great job with a poor quality tape and this might be a case of both uh, this is a, uh, a crawl space that was encapsulated by a clean space dealer in South Carolina. It's got, since it's been encapsulated, it still has humidity issues. Even though the barrier has been installed, there was a dehumidifier down here that failed. Um, the foundation vents were um, sort of done. They were done looking from the outside, but they weren't uh, efficient or effective from the inside. It has a smart pump installed. And, and we have water spots and water puddles like this everywhere. And I contribute it to the workmanship of the tape, uh, the quality of the tape. So in this case, what appears to have happened is once we weren't, once the system that was installed was not able to divert the water over to the sump pump, we had pressure against the tape here and here, and this, this tape uh, seam here is no longer sticky at all. It's been sitting in the water far too long. So the tape has failed here. Um, the adhesive has failed once it came in contact with the moisture, with the water. And it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's all over. There's another spot over there. There's one here behind me. In fact, I'm sitting on the high ground between two major water puddles. So the tape that, that you could get from crawlspacerepair.com won't fail when it comes in contact with water. You can see this is not a big water pressure problem. This is just a puddle that should be, should be trapped underneath the barrier until the ground dries out enough to absorb it. And instead, it's on top, um, you know, it's an, it's an inch deep. And it's not going to go anywhere until the dehumidifier can take it out, which you can, maybe you can hear in the background, the dehumidifier is running. Um, so consider the quality of the product of the tape that you're going to use to install your encapsulation because if you, you get the cheap one and you don't really pay attention to what you're doing, you're gonna, you're gonna get this. So I'm gonna show you another example of how uh, inferior tape fails. So here we're pretty dry, no, no water, no issues. But we have a strip here from about here to here. The tape has completely not sucked anything. It's a bit sticky, not really sticky enough to stick to bugs and some dust, but it's, um, this section of tape is, has failed. And it, and it could be, and, and we're in a hypothetical because we're, we're after the fact, and, and I don't know the crew that installed this. I don't know what their procedures were or even the product that they use, other than I know they didn't use uh, the tape from crawlspacerepair.com. So I want to go over uh, a couple of like best practices when you when you tape an area uh, to make sure we don't end up with a puddle uh, and we don't end up with these failed tape seams that probably not going to let out a lot of moisture, but it does create an issue where if this were to start gathering water, it would come out right here and you'd end up with a puddle in front. So some things some some things you want to consider are some things that you want to take with you. Uh, these are just like paper towel, thick shop towels you buy down at the home center. Um, the advantage you get with these is as they get dirtier, as they get wet, you can just pitch them and get another one. Um, they're not really that expensive. I don't know, maybe $10 for a box, and a box would do well, probably most of a crawl space, unless it's really, really dirty. Um, the other option you have is just like some red shop towels or some microfiber towels. But as you can see, even just trying to keep them clean, they get dirty. You get bugs and stuff stuck to it because they're, they're made out of cloth. So if it were me, I would recommend... Um, these, these paper towel style um, workshop cloths. So when you come up to do the taping, you need a couple of things. One, you need good quality tape. 
you need your, your towel and you need a sharp knife. Now you can tear this tape. It's not, um, you know, it's not so strong that uh, you, can't, you can't rip it. But we want to do a nice job um, and we want it to seal and we don't want to create any issues where we have to come back later and, and repair it like this. So this tape isn't stuck on either side. So I'm just going to find myself an area here to tape to to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking for and what you want to do. All right, get all the dust and dirt stuff out. So if this was our tape line right here, we're just going to want to tape this. And maybe we're going to do a repair later and I can, I can show you in a video of exactly um, how, to, how to lay the tape on a seam. I don't want to tape this down. Well, I guess if we just cut this up. We'll just pull this section of tape up and let's just see what's going on underneath it. Let's see how well it's stuck. So this is a workmanship issue. I can see fingerprints all over it. Uh, I can see where water has come out in the past. We got varieties of bugs and um, sand and dirt and crap. So this is, you know, this is not what we're trying to get done. This You can't you can't get a good seal, you can't get the results you're looking for if your whole crawl space is stuck to bugs. So let's give this a good wipe here and get the rest of the residue and the bugs and stuff off of here. So I got a piece here that's stuck and I got a piece here that's stuck. I'm gonna sit up, give myself a little bit of myself a little bit of leverage. So the waterproof seam tape, WST4. Um, get our corner started here. I like to start with a, a nice straight piece. So I take it out a bit stretch it out from the from the roll make sure we, we don't get it to stick to itself don't touch it too much get the piece started here so if there is a trick to this this will be the trick use your hand as an iron the soft part of your hand here and you want to push this down and you want to watch and make sure that you don't create any kind of bridging so if you get an area where the the barrier has a droop in it or it's longer than the than the distance the tape is going to stick to you want to make sure you use your thumb and push into that area to get it get everybody working together but for the for the most part as you move along you're going to want to use your hand as an iron when you push it in just like that and come back and you're going to see any areas like here um, and i'll show you with the with the camera afterwards. This is an area of bridging where it just kind of stretched across. We can pull that up, use your thumb to push it to push it in so that it's all touching all the way across. And if you do have areas of bridging that that are small, if you if you stretch the tape, it will after you leave pull back off and go back to the bridging stance. So you want to make sure that if you have any areas that are that you have to stretch the tape to get it to go down into that valley, it's, it's gonna fail. So you wanna be sure that you use your thumb and use your hand to push that into the areas and keep, and really what you're doing is, is you're not using your hand to iron the tape as much as you're using your, your hand to make the surface the same on both sides so that it's, the, it's flat and all three pieces, the left side, the right side, and the tape are all coming together at the same time in the same way so you get basically an invisible seam. Again, you can tear it. I recommend that you cut it. It gives you a much nicer um, seal at the end and finish it off with pushing it all in. And when you use the right tape, it seals right up nice and tight. It, it nearly shrink wraps itself to the surface.